what makes something extraordinary in these stories? Because you wouldn't want to go see a movie that didn't have this drama, this incredible hero's journey. Well, you need dramatic change. You need extraordinary events, extraordinary. You need emotion. We all have celebrations in our lives. We all reach milestones. And some of the greatest ones have the highest emotion, right? Graduation or a marriage or a birthday, a special birthday celebration, an anniversary. So you can do this with your corporation. And I've talked to many companies around the world, from Disney to Pfizer, about how to do this for your corporation. And it can be your small company. As a matter of fact, around the world, we love corporate stories that start with our bare hands, right? Maybe it was a woman who was a baker or who had a great idea for a new product and started out working in her garage or in, in developing and creating and then bringing a product or bringing something to life. Maybe it was Steve Jobs working out of his garage and changing the world of personal computing. All of these stories share that sort of arc. Corporations revisit these stories and they'll massage them a little bit. They'll still be authentic, but they'll massage them to make sure they have that impact. And you can too. It doesn't matter if it's your own company and you're an individual consultant or if you're part of a big corporation. Find those kernels to help that storytelling. And all of these companies share that, and many, many more, about somebody who was alone, perhaps, or struggling. They wanted to do something great. They were then mentored, or they had an idea. They worked hard in their garage or in a laboratory, and then changed the world. Right? We love that story. And when you share that with people who are maybe coming to an exhibition or into your booth, if you find that story arc in your life and share that with emotion and drama, you're going to be much better off. People will remember it, and they'll share it as well. So I talked about storytelling. Now I want to talk about just basic structures. Right? When we talk about exhibitions from the old days, people think of just stands, square stands. And the easiest thing to do is a square. Triangles get a little harder, and circles are the toughest. But interestingly enough, from a design standpoint, we like circles, right? We like that embracing. And triangles also tell us that something's happening, something's moving. Most people spend their lives, their ordinary lives, right, in the ordinary world in a square, whether it's a home or an office or a cubicle or a meeting room like this. So when you want to do something out of the ordinary, extraordinary, especially from a design standpoint, put people in a circle or show them something that's, that's a pyramid shape or pyramid-like. These gentlemen just took those things and supersized them. And they became great, great, great designers because they made a giant circle. They made a giant pyramid. Or like Frank Lloyd Wright, he took a lot of squares and he stacked them and then he put them in nature. That's unusual. You know why that's unusual? Because you can't find squares in nature. It's virtually impossible. And so when you're thinking about doing something out of the ordinary with your story or your display, think about things that are out of the ordinary. 